times chaos erupted on paternity. Never done anything. Oh, and you cried. Hold on. You cried yourself a river in this courtroom, baby. All the time, never testifying to the whole truth. And that's wrong. A feeling, a feeling, a feeling. We're not talking about feelings. We're talking about facts. Do you know for certain if Mr. Moore's sister? I'm, I'm close with his sister. Yeah, because you I like to go out all the time. I don't That's go the only out. What are you talking about? Because you could easily give him to him when he did. He don't he have to be out too. Work. You don't have to the kids. What right. you talking no, about? The tension is always high when it comes to paternity cases. But sometimes things can get too tense, disturbing the peace and blowing up in court. Chaotic moments are rare in paternity court, but when they happen, they sure are memorable. Mr. Fernandez and his ex-fiance are in a high-stakes battle. According to Mr. Fernandez, his fiance, Ms. Butler, cheated on him. And naturally, he doesn't believe that he's the father to Ms. Butler's daughter. Get your helmets on, ladies and gentlemen. We're stepping into a war zone. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, Mr. Rhodes, what was the nature of your relationship with her mom? Did you know about any other men? Were you all in a committed relationship? Um, Your Honor, we, I didn't know about any other men. Um, I was in the Marines, so I wasn't there, and I would hear stories about her being with other men, but it didn't bother me because my focus was her. So, um, I don't know, this is confusing. I'm, I'm mind boggled about this thing, because I loved her mother, so my thing was to marry her and raise her. We're already off to a rocky start with this one. Mr. Fernandez just called off the wedding and pawned off the ring. Pawning off the ring so soon might have been a bit of a rash decision by Mr. Fernandez. That said, suing Ms. Butler for the dollar 300 he lost when he pawned it off is straight up savage. There's definitely bad blood here. And with their daughter's paternity, as well as their marriage on the line, both Mr. Fernandez and Ms. Butler have their game faces on. Frustrated, I was angry. I took the ring back and I left. The ring actually cost about $700. I was only given about three fifty four, Your Honor. Do you have a receipt for the ring? I actually don't have a receipt for the ring, but... Before all that, when we first got together, he already had a girlfriend, so he already was a cheater in the beginning. He cheated with... I, I cheated. Why are we yeah. here? We not, I didn't cheat. Okay. Why are we here right now? You did cheat, and that's exactly why I cheated. But he, he already had a girlfriend when we first... Got together. You know the baby How can is I yours. Cheat the baby? You know the baby is yours. Uh -huh. You did cheat. Miss Butler. We called it. Less than a minute in, we already have a lawsuit, cheating accusations, cheating admissions, and back and forth drama. We're in for a roller coaster, guys. So if you haven't strapped in, you know what to do. Right. Why did you because... cheat? Because. Miss Butler. I, oh, I'm, I want to tell you. Okay. One day, he come over my house, and it, he had a pregnant... The girl was supposed to be pregnant. It was supposed to be his baby. But he comes over, he say he was at the house seeing the baby. He comes That's to a my lie. house... That's a lie, Your Honor. And he smell exactly like sex, his whole body. He think, you know what I'm saying, like, I come in, I, I kiss him, I smell it. So I start kissing him all over, because I'm like, okay. But I really was smelling him. That's what I was doing. So I'm kissing him, kissing him. I smell sex everywhere, all over his body. Okay, I get it. Your yeah. Honor. So, Your Honor. um... <laughs> Clearly, these two aren't familiar with the concept of filtering out their words. According to Ms. Butler, she only cheated because one day, Mr. Fernandez came home smelling like sex. Her spirit animal must be a bloodhound, because taking her time to sniff Mr. Fernandez isn't your typical interrogation method. Condom. So you admit to cheating. I don't feel like I was cheating because he cheated on me, you so... It was sexual intercourse. It's cheating. She okay, and she, I, where we were together. Were you still in the relationship or you had broken up? I felt like we was broken up. You he said, like... yeah. Okay, so bottom line is you slept with somebody else. Yes. Yes. And you say you used a condom, though. I did use a condom. Yeah. Now, how did you find out that she slept with somebody else? I found out it's a it's a weeks of me pressing it out of her. When when I came home, it was just me and her there one day. I see her phone. I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, I'm a big snooper. So I grabbed a phone. I... Yes. I paid for the phone, but look, I'm a big snooper. I grabbed a phone. Don't make you a I grabbed a phone. I looked through it. I see her hugged up with a guy, some Gucci man looking guy. I don't even he's black. He's just, hey, who is this? So, I confronted her okay. Who is this? Who is well, this Gucci man looking guy? Who phone, is this? You wouldn't have found the picture. Who is this? You wouldn't have found see the picture. See that right there? You sneaky. So I won't wait a minute. The you said you were, you could. So Ms. Butler cheated because, in her words, she believed her nose more than he believed Mr. Fernandez's lies. That's a new one. 
but according to her, she definitely used a condom and doesn't believe she was really cheating because of, you guessed it, her nose. Mr. Fernandez also admitted to being a self-proclaimed snooper. He went through Ms. Butler's phone and found pictures of her shacked up with a guy he only describes as Gucci Mane looking. By the looks of things, this is shaping up to be a pay-per-view event. With the condoms, right? And I wore a condom. But you allergic to know, it? But I didn't know him. You, so you're going to eat some but food that you're allergic to it. But, but you I didn't know him. him. You ain't know him. So wait, I didn't you know him. Mr. Fernandez, you're saying Ms. Butler is allergic to... She's allergic to condoms, Your Honor. We never use them. I, I wasn't even aware of this because so we never use condoms. So, to the, to the latex material. To the latex material. Okay. So now, Ms. Butler? Mm-hmm. Yes. Are you or are you not allergic to latex? Are you? <laughs> no. So you're I'm not. not? No. No, she's not. She just said she Recent, was Recent... Oh, so that was a lie. That's why we're here, Your Honor, because she's a liar. No. She's a liar. I'm not a liar. I, I, and, and I, I use need the to condom. Know, that's my daughter. I use the condom, and... So hold on. First of all, so you're not actually allergic to latex? No, I'm not. That's just something you told him? Yes. Wow. Because you wanted to sleep with him without protection? Yes. Well, so you trapped me. So she was trying to trap me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Ms. Butler, you said you... Lies, lies, and more lies. When Ms. Butler said that she used a condom when cheating on Mr. Fernandez, she might have tripped herself up. That's because she had previously told Mr. Fernandez that she was allergic to condoms. Well, apparently, the only thing she was allergic to was using them with Mr. Fernandez. See? Either man could be but the father. No, Either because one, I wore a condom. I wore a condom. But she's and I allergic know. to condoms, Your Honor. <sighs> you that. keep saying that, but I'm not. The baby looks just like Well, you do like understand him, in terms the baby of his looks doubt. Exactly like but Ms. Him, Fernandez, though. you do understand. Now, you just admitted in open court that you lied about being allergic to condoms. So yes, if Your he Honor. came here thinking you were lying, you've now pretty much proven that you were lying at least about that. So he now, of course, questions whether you wore the condom at all. But the baby looks just like him. I also have you. evidence. I want to submit pictures when I was a newborn and her as a newborn at the time that I felt we looked alike. All right. Y'all look alike which, right now. Which, what do you okay, mean? Do you look have those her. photos? Yes, I do, Your Honor. Mr. Fernandez is a child and Devon is a baby. And you say there's no resemblance. But as she got older, Look at the Your eyebrows. Honor, she, look at she, the eyes. Look Your, at the nose. Your Honor, as she, she got older, lips. as she got older, the baby don't look like me. She she looks like Gucci Man. No, she don't. She looked like the guy that was in that picture. She that still she was looks like you. With. I don't see it. I don't see it. Look around the eyes, the nose, Your Honor. She doesn't look like me. Cause she she's smiling. Like because she's smiling. Because uh, she's smiling, you mean mugging? What uh, you mean? No, that's the only mugging. difference. I feel there's no resemblance, Your Honor. And she, that's, she, she resembles that guy that was in the picture that blind. she plugged up with. That's who she resembles. He blind to me. He told me the with baby. The baby. She told me the baby one. So and you because you always say it's not yours. So oh, hold on. We got now, an let, let me get to that testimony. Oh. What did she say? She say uh. When the baby will, will, did get conceived, okay, because here, you we always home. thought we had in my face. Uh, you the she I'm is gone. Gucci Man baby. I'm so of course baby one day, anyway. so of course baby. one day I'm gonna I'm say what? yeah, it's Gucci Man baby because that's what all you, you say. Not my baby. Now, nobody want to keep hearing that. I don't want to keep hearing this Gucci Man baby. But, so uh, uh, of course yeah. I'm going to say. After the word crazy being thrown around like a softball, Ms. Butler presented her evidence: a calendar with her conception dates. The thing is, she day that she cheated was smack in the middle of her possible conception dates. So that didn't really push the needle, did it? Her lie about being allergic to condoms was also coming back to bite her. How was anyone supposed to believe a word she said after she just admitted to a lie she told for years? When the baby will, will, did get conceived, okay, because here, you we was always thought we had an argument. Face. I went to uh, take the you, daughter. She is gone. Gucci Man baby. Her. So of course one day, anyway. so of course baby. one day I'm gonna I'm say what? yeah, it's Gucci Man oh, no. baby because that's what all you not say. Not nobody want to keep hearing that. I don't want to keep hearing this Gucci Man baby. But, so uh, uh, of course but, I'm gonna say yeah, it's not your. Self sabotage might just be one of Miss Butler's habits. Mr. Fernandez revealed that when she gave birth to their daughter, Ms. Butler clearly said that Mr. Fernandez looked nothing like his supposed daughter. But hey, if we've learned anything from Ms. Butler so far, it would be wise to take each of their testimonies with a big grain of salt. And then you're there for the birth, and you're participating. Mm -hmm. You don't have doubts then. I, I still had doubts, Sean. still had doubts. We argue had, every I, I, day. I still had doubts, Sean. Let me arguing. talk. Can I talk? No. John, too, can I talk? Let can me I talk. I talk? You've been talking. Your Honor, I, had, I still had doubts. But 
I, I, she was just beautiful to me. Still is, you know? And okay. I love her. I do love her. Because she's your baby. And, she looks just I, like you. That's common sense. All right. She did when she first That's came. That's common sense. She did when she first came. When she first came out, she did look like me. Oh, yeah, so, so, so but your father was running around. He he was in and out your life, so you doing the same thing. My dad did the same thing to me, in and out. I'm and a, then also, I had uh, my other son, you know, I had went through that same thing. And it, I just can't do it anymore. I'm not trying to keep on going through this, you know, I, I want to nip it in the bud, because she getting older and she's starting to hear the arguments of him every oh, time no. we get into it. But That's not my baby. That's Gucci Man, see. baby. That's his favorite line. That's all I hear. Uh, it's Gucci Man, baby. She I don't like know the Gucci guy. Man. She look like the That's guy that was him. in the picture. No. So the she truth exactly is, like Mr. Him. Fernandez, you're exactly. back at home, but you got... This couple was a lit fuse that was about to blow the roof off the courthouse. So Judge Lake did the best thing for everyone involved, Gucci Mane included, and brought out the DNA results. It's time to answer the two biggest questions on everyone's minds. Is Mr. Fernandez really the father, and is this relationship salvageable? It has been determined by this court, Mr. Fernandez, you are her father. Uh... Oh. Are you up for a crazy tag team match with an even crazier ending? Ms. Tori and Ms. Henderson were fed up with Mr. Goodson, a young man who they both believe to be the father to their children. You heard that right, one man, two ladies, and three kids? This case is an active volcano ready to erupt. Suit, you've now proposed and given yet another ring, <laughs> and you came here asking for $300. <laughs> From I your want, other I ring. Girl, I, I, I still want my 300. You I'm playing, baby. I'm playing with you, babe. She's good, Ronnie. Okay, so is it safe to say you would like to withdraw your suit? Yes, I do. Mr. Hammond, you are here in court desperate for DNA results. You say the defendant went behind your back and opened a child support case, claiming you are the father of her four-month-old daughter, Niasia. You're hoping today's results will prove you are not the biological father before the child support order goes into effect. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. James, you say Mr. Hammond is your daughter's father and you are adamant today's results will prove it. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Hammond, you were recently served child support papers? Yeah, well, I got the papers right here. Let me I see that the... evidence, Jerome. Proof the... They don't get much messier than this, folks. Ms. Tory has two kids who she swears are Mr. Goodson's, and Ms. Henderson has a four-year-old daughter that Mr. Goodson has refused to take responsibility for. We're not done yet, it gets messier. According to Mr. Goodson, Ms. Tory has cheated on him in the past, which led him to believe that the kids aren't his. And get this, Ms. Henderson messed around with Mr. Goodson's cousin at around the same time he did. My, oh my, Mr. Goodson is really punching above his weight here. You are submitting into evidence the paperwork you received. Right, Explain right. to the court what this is. Okay, well, on the paperwork, it lists me as the father. Dear Christopher Hammond, Regine James has asked us to open or reopen a child support case for the child listed above. Right. Okay. And so, when you got that paperwork, what were you thinking? I'm like, man, I need a DNA test. Straight up. So, Mr. Hammond, take me to the nature of your relationship. How did you all meet? Okay, I dated her f for a couple years. I moved away for like four. And that, during that time, I had a relationship with Miss Kiera. So, uh, you know, me and her was kind of rocky at the time. That's when I reconnected with Miss James. So you were doing a back and forth, but at some point, ended up dating both of these women at the same time. Like I said, you know... Like I said. Both of them... <laughs> both of them knew. Both of them... Well, she didn't he know, but she He actually said that, knew. um, he's keeping her under, um, he didn't want her to know because he was just getting money from her. Oh! Yeah, that's he, what I told her. He said her. that's how he got his truck, That's what I told her because, like I said, I was back and forth. This is my girl. <laughs> you, just like you got your baby daddy. He's a liar, though. That's he, it. She got a dude, lied about and everything. I had a woman. So he, we just he lied about keep everything. just said, like that. He said... Oh, um, so the, the point... Is it your position, Mr. Hammond, that both women were aware that you were sleeping with them at the same exact time and they were comfortable with that? 
Kiara wasn't Keep aware. Keep it 100, as you would say. 100. Kiara was aware, wasn't aware, she was. I was aware? You feel me? Okay. Whoa, we might need water breaks for this one. Music, liquor, and stolen cars? This sounded more like a movie plot than a court case. If you haven't figured it out it by now, Mr. Goodson is no Boy Scout. And to be honest, Ms. Henderson isn't exactly a saint either. Right. While this young woman was pregnant with your child, right. and I you were still that. having sex with Ms. James. Yeah, of course. That's what I said. <laughs> well, we all know that because they're, you know, kind of close. So that's why I say, of course, because it, it's close. But what I'm saying is, you know, let's get back on topic. She called me and told me <laughs> that she was pregnant, right? When she... I found out from someone else, and then we met and talked about it. That's when she said, you know, she don't want nothing to do with it. Or she, she don't want me, you know what I'm saying, in her baby's life because I wasn't the father. That's, that's what she that's told me. That's a lie. Actually, we met, um, I was at work, and um, we had met and um, me sat down, and he was telling me how he's so sorry that he did it or whatever. He shouldn't have got her pregnant. This is the truth. And um, he was just telling me, like, he messed up. And he's like, I have, um, I have a plan or something, I guess, to take... I don't know. Wait, Hold on one second. Right. Stop whispering things over to your girlfriend. Man, it took a while to get there, but according to Ms. Henderson, she was seeing Mr. Goodson and having unprotected sex for a year before breaking things off. Mr. Goodson calling to tell her he had found another female was also wild. Honestly, this case sounded more fictional than the Lord of the Rings movies. At the time, Mr. Goodson was also fresh out of jail for stealing a car. So yeah, there's that too. Right. When she was already pregnant, right. and the way you was lying back and forth so right. that you could keep having sex with two women and right. then get two women pregnant potentially at the same right. time. <laughs> so let's stay on that topic. Right. Okay, keep going with your topic. So we actually had met up. I was at work, and he was like, I want to see you. So I, um, on my break, I only had 10 minutes. I said, you got 10 minutes to tell me what you want to say because I don't want to hear it. So um, we... With all the tea he's serving up, it's hard to believe that Mr. Goodson isn't a barista. According to him, he was only interested in Miss Henderson because of her money. Audacious? Yes. Immature? Hell yes. But you have to respect the unfiltered honesty. Same day, because yes. you know it's because it's your birthday. Right. <laughs> you actually submitted a calendar to the court, and we need to review this. So, August 6th, in the morning, you have sex with another man. Right. And then, by 5 o'clock, you're having sex well, with Mr. I, Hammond? Actually, um, he called me later on that night, and we had sex three times. Back to back. And all of this sex was unprotected? All of it. Oh. Even with the other man? Yes, it was. So, you know you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, on this calendar that was submitted to the court, Nyjah's birthday is May 6th. When you went to the doctor for your checkup, they gave you a conception date of August 6th, which was the actual day right. you had had sex with two different men. Right. So, if you did and there is another man that you had sex with, how are you so certain it's Mr. Hammond's um, baby? It's really now... We had a 50-50 split right, right now. He's old. After Mr. Goodson's cousin, Mr. Thomas, was brought into the courthouse, it became clear just how chaotic this case already was, and things were only getting crazier. According to Ms. Henderson, her daughter's father was either Mr. Goodson or Mr. Thomas. She couldn't be sure. And hold up! Ms. Tory hasn't even given her testimony yet. Like, having kids, his sperm is not strong. Oh, the, uh, the other man is an older man. Yeah, older man. How old? 60. <laughs> You're on Ooh, that's my grandmother. At this point, Judge Lake seemed nearly overwhelmed by what was going on in her court. What was so special about Mr. Goodson? Why were all these women lining up to get kids by him when clearly he could barely take care of himself? That's just, well, honestly, that, that's just real. She had that, sex too, with him still, first, we, and then you, she's still with the old dude. You no, had I'm sex not. with him after that. So how, how am I the father? Is this the only day you were intimate with her, Mr. Hammond? No, it wasn't. What is going on home? here? Are you know. engaged How's to be yeah, married? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly? Engaged. Since when? Since uh, when? Uh, last year. What kind of engagement is this? Right. I'd like to hear from your fiance, ma'am. Please stand up. Stand up. Stand up.
State your name for the record. Kiara Johnson. And you are Mr. Hammond's fiance? Yes. You tell me what kind of engagement this is. Well, first off, she's always known about me. She is the one who um, texted me oh. every single time that he supposedly talked to her. And you are comfortable with times. just three months before... I am before. not comfortable with what is going on, and he knows that. Do you feel like it's going to end? Hopefully. I'm pretty pretty certain that he is not messing with her anymore. I... <laughs> it's almost... as if I can't believe this. <laughs> So, in the monitor, we see Mr. Hammond's son that would be with Ms. Johnson. Right. And then, on the right, is Mr. Hammond's potential daughter with Ms. James. She doesn't look nothing like my son. She looks son. like me. She looks exactly like me. Okay, so we could go ahead and say that Miss Tori is no saint herself. She's cheated on Mr. Goodson multiple times, and he's done the same to her. Talk about a toxic relationship. Not to mention what Mr. Goodson already had going on with Ms. Henderson. The courtroom's radiation level should definitely be checked once this case is over with. <laughs> I ain't got because else to when say. I, I thought, when she when I texted her on some woman level and I asked her, "Is that Chris's baby?" She said, "No, that's not his baby. I don't want nothing to do with you guys, and uh, you guys can have a happy life, and I have nothing else to say to you I guys." I did tell her that. I she did, did tell her that, that and we blocked is, each other. Why is it any of her business? Period. I, I, my baby, Tim, he don't have nothing to do. <laughs> it is my business. Okay, let's get some order. I'm done with yeah. this. Y'all doing a whole bunch of nothing. Man. Um, so listen. Do you have a relationship with Niaja, Mr. Hammond? No. Oh, you've never seen her? No. He said he's not gonna do anything for her until he finds out if he's the father or not. So you weren't there for the birth? No. You didn't even show up no. for doctor's appointment? But the other guy was there. And so you're saying that's true? Yes. Does the older guy think Naisha's his daughter? Well, he don't care. He said he's gonna take care of her regardless. But does he think he's her father? Have you told him he was? Okay, no, I, I see didn't that smile. Him. No. <laughs> no, the thing is, man? like, I, I told both of them. You know, I, I told him when I found out I was pregnant. Like, I... Have but you're to... opening up a child support case against Mr. Hammond. If the other guy already said he's gonna take care of her and he's obviously got the money to do it, why didn't you put him on the child support papers? Or sign the birth certificate. Well, my thing is, I just want to, um, just try to eliminate him, see if he's dead or not. If not, then obviously the other guy... Oh, you're doing process of elimination. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I don't know why I'm gonna Okay. It's either you do or you don't, because you stay I going so, back to him. So, so, Supposedly, you I want him. Don't. If I call I you, you him. gonna come running. I don't call you no more. I'll come stop. to you. Stop. 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 Johnson, stop. I can't li let you live in this. Ma Goodson's testimony definitely brought some much needed clarity to this case. Apparently, Mr. Goodson's father has not one, not two, but 17 kids. 17! She also asked the two plaintiffs one question that we had been asking ourselves all along Why? Why would they want to get kids for Mr. Goodson, who is essentially a kid himself? It was my mom. So when I came from Okinawa, Japan, we was going to move to California and get the family to get married and raise my daughter. But before I came home, she had moved out and moved back to Athens. That was very confusing to me after the dreams I had to do with her. So it broke my heart. You know, she took her away. So I didn't see her for years after that, you know, so... There wasn't nothing I can do because they sent me to California and I couldn't chase them down or write them down. I couldn't do anything but wait, wait my time out. And by the time I got to her, she was very confused. With that avalanche of drama and chaos, Judge Lake had seen enough. Three kids needed to know if Mr. Goodson was actually their father. So the DNA results were brought in. It's time to sink or swim for Mr. Goodson. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Hammond, you are not the father. Okay. Ms. Capples has been chasing after her one night stand, Mr. Harris, for 15 months. According to her, Mr. Harris is her son's biological father, but he's apparently allergic to accountability. Mr. Harris was accompanied by his current girlfriend, Ms. Mayfield, and you know how that often goes. 
You say you are 100% certain that the defendant is your 15-month-old son, Jason's biological father, and today he's going to put his name on the dotted line right in front of his girlfriend. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Harris, you and your girlfriend say there is no way you are Jason's father, and once the results are revealed, you want the plaintiff to leave you alone. Is that y correct? Yes, Your Honor. Wanting Mr. Harris to take responsibility of his supposed son, sure, that makes all the sense in the world. But wanting him to sign the kid's birth certificate right in front of his new girlfriend? We see you, Ms. Capples. You're out for some drama. Your Honor, I am here today because Mr. Harris is going to sign this birth certificate today right in front of his girlfriend. She has a lot to do with why he is denying my child. Um, she is very immature and has a lot of growing up no. to do. When were you all even together? What was the nature of this relationship? Um, yup! Ms. Caples did not like Mr. Harris's new girlfriend, not one bit. And if you were wondering, the feeling was mutual. According to Ms. Caples, Ms. Mayfield was the reason why Mr. Harris is denying her son. To be honest, Your Honor, me and Mr. Harris were never we're in an... Never in a... Never in a... Oh, you were in a relationship. No, okay. Never, we were no, never no, in a relationship. No, no. Let's clarify that now. We were just... Sleeping together. Sleeping That's together. It. That's, That's pretty it. much it. Were you in another relationship? No. I, I was not, no. No, I wasn't. You find out you're pregnant. Obviously, you weren't using protection if there's a question that he's the biological father. Yes, Your Honor. You tell him, did he immediately deny the baby or it, you feel like he's just denying the baby now because of his girlfriend? You're correct. So, according to both Mrs. Capples and Mr. Harris, they were never in a relationship. Things started getting interesting when Ms. Capples mentioned that they went to the same high school and were Facebook friends. Mr. Harris denied ever attending the same high school as Ms. Capples, which could only mean one thing. We're less than two minutes in, and one of them has already started lying. Do you remember finding out Ms. Capels was pregnant? She, she texted me and told me she was pregnant, but then she disappeared for months. When she, when she texted you and said, I'm pregnant, what did you think? I, that it could I, be yours? I, 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 it was a possibility. Are you now with Ms. Mayfield in a relationship? That's when I had got with her in a relationship. She was around five months. She got jealous of what men... What is there to be jealous yeah. about? I don't care about you guys Girl, being together. Ms. May and we're off to the races. First and foremost, Mr. Harris admitted that there could be a possibility of him being a father to Ms. Capple's son. If you're Ms. Capple's, that's probably the first little win of the day. But Ms. Mayfield wasn't having it. Dating. He told me about the situation and was like, you know, I was talking to some girl. I may have a possible baby with her, you know, whatever, whatever. So I, as a woman, I just ended up accepting that. You know, we continued to date and we fell in love, have our own family and kids. And one day we're out with the kids bowling and she's wrote him and, oh, that B and this and that. Basically, it was always her writing every blue moon about me. Now, all of a sudden, there's another dude in the picture. So, who's this other guy that was in the picture? After me and Mr. Harris were right. done and over with. You were already pregnant at the point you started dating the other Correct. man? Correct. Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. And wow! Ms. Capples rolled her eyes so hard she could probably see her brain. The tension between the two women was building gradually, and if he wasn't careful, Mr. Harris would have ended up as collateral damage. <laughs> Now, Ms. Caples, I have to ask you, were you involved with more than one man? No, I was not. And he did not That's tell right. me that he was dealing with other women while me and him were talking. So I did not know that he was... Men, men usually don't she tell you. I, they want to keep getting... She went through my phone and, and, and text other women back. I went through your phone. I didn't text nobody back, but I did and go through your cut phone. Off. And then yes, you cut you off. That's salty. Cut me so, off. Yeah, oh, that's please. the time y'all stopped talking. Girl. I please. know, boo. I know the whole story. I'm sure you do, because you were there, right? And you were there when he was... He don't even know your real you name. You were. So, how was that? You, you laid Everybody up with somebody. Everybody thinks my name is Muffin. What yeah, are you talking about? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Who didn't know whose real name? I didn't know her real name. Mr. And according to Mr. Harris, he was seeing a couple of women around the same time he was getting to know Ms. Capples. He made sure to clarify that this was before he'd met Ms. Mayfield, since he wasn't interested in sleeping in the doghouse that night. He didn't even know Ms. Capples' real name at the time. On the other hand, Ms. Capples claimed that at the time she was seeing Mr. Harris, she wasn't involved in any other sexual relationship. And immediately, Ms. Mayfield opened her mouth. She and Ms. Capples were at it again. 
You and said she told you the child was not yours. She told me not too long ago that she did uh, have after sex with one guy. And after the fact. No, after and he, she, she said it was only that's one time, but that's all it takes. Why would I bring it up, Your Honor, if it was after his time? I was already pregnant, and I didn't even know I was pregnant. That's nasty. Hold on now. Let's let all the little side comments go, because Ms. Mayfield, Mr. Harris was out there, too. Mm-hmm. This is where we end up. In this courtroom with a beautiful little baby trying to figure out mm-hmm. who the father is. Exactly. Right. Because there was no commitment. No. No. <laughs> There's no marriage. No. There's no nothing. Mm-hmm. So it's easy to blame Ms. Caples, but you also have to look at your man. Mm-hmm. Because but he was wasn't my man at the time. So if Mr. Harris's word is anything to go by, Ms. Caples' testimony might have left out a few major details. She was allegedly in another romantic relationship around the same time she was messing with Mr. Harris. And just like clockwork, Ms. Mayfield stepped in again to defend her man's honor. But guess who had something to say about that? That That is my job. That is my job. What's your, your honor, as a woman, I would not want to be in a room with a woman that's having my boyfriend's baby Okay, so you that's, were the patient. You, know, you that, have that's that. a little too much. But wait a minute, Miss Capel. She does. Wo- you work at the hospital, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. And then that was where they told you your station or where you were supposed to be. Yeah. You were assigned we to that. Today we got our stuff to do. Yes, ma'am. You did not let anyone know because it was your job and you were trying yes. to be professional. Yes, miss. Yes, ma'am. If you say you were there to get your tubes tied, then what is there to see? I she mean, just throughout the whole either, so I, she I probably didn't know that. Who I go was, to work but... every day Mike. in the morning and we go start our routine. Like anyone she was else looking at work. for me, Your Honor. And we did that and I went upon, she never said nothing either. So I would think of any patient that had an issue, they'd be like, you know, I, I don't feel comfortable, I don't want this person in here, yada, yada. She didn't do that. Later on down the road, I found out that, oh, I'm messy and I'm in her business. How? You are what did I do to be in your business? After a bunch of name-calling fits and snarky remarks, Ms. Capples finally revealed why she hated Ms. Mayfield so much. Apparently, Ms. Mayfield worked as a nurse at the hospital where Ms. Capples went to get her tubes tied. The funny thing was, Ms. Mayfield barely remembers it, but it's literally all that Ms. Capples thinks about. Sister, I'm, I'm close with his sister. Yeah, because you I'm like close... to go out all the time. I don't That's go the only out. Reason. What are you Because you could about? easily give in to him when he did. He don't he have to be out somewhere. too. You don't have to go with the kids. What right. you talking no, about? No, he don't. He don't. He don't. He all right, one at a time. One at a time, out. ladies. Ooh. Ooh-wee. This case escalated into a yelling match faster than you could say, Father! And because of that, the judge gave both women a stern talking to before finally whipping out the DNA results. Time to see if Mr. Harris is signing on the dotted line or if Ms. Capples is going back home empty-handed. In the case of Fuller v. Neal, pertaining to 47-year-old Gina Fuller, as to whether Mr. Neal is her biological father. Mr. Neal, you are not Miss Fuller's father. Oh, 